For England's top rugby clubs, the race to Twickenham is littered with obstacles. First, you've got to finish in the top four within the regulation season, and then you've got to hope that you hit peak form for the playoffs and, of course, the final. Now, one of the teams leading the way at the moment is Leicester Tigers. They're away at Newcastle this week, and earlier on, I caught up with some of their players. Newcastle have uh, yeah. You know, great rate, uh, great success rate against us. Um, you know, we've gone up there in the last five or six years, and we haven't played too well. And and, and they've you know done very well and, and got some results. So um, it's really important for us this weekend that you know we go up there fully focused and, and put in a performance, and, and hopefully we can get a win. A playoff place for the Tigers, it's all but guaranteed. Is there a danger that complacency may set in? Yeah, I think maybe at some places, but I don't think at Leicester, uh, Richard Cockrell, uh, uh, I don't think we'd be allowed to. Uh, get complacent. Uh, we know what's expected of us, and uh, our aim is to finish top of the league and get that home semi. Puts in a be better position to uh, go forward to the final. You expect sportsmen to always kind of say we're just concentrating on the next game. But there must be some kind of thoughts towards the the chances of getting through the playoffs in the final. That's boring, really. You know, I, I think you know now we know we're sort of in the, in the in the semi-finals at some stage. We're there, thereabouts. Um, but it is really the case of, you know, this is our last away game of the year and we're going away to Newcastle this Sunday and, and um, it's huge and we've got two home games after that and, and, you know, maybe then we'll be able to, you know, cast an eye on, on some, something further down the line. But really it is quite boring, but, you know, we have to just focus on Newcastle first and foremost. How much importance uh, do you guys place on finishing top of the actual table? Does that give you a psychological edge? Yeah, you know, we want to be the best. So, and to be the best, you've got to finish top of the league and then go on and win your semi-final and the, and the final. And I think... It does, get, it does give you a bit of an edge to, to know that you're top of the league and um, you're looking down on everyone else, but it's, it's, just, it's just about getting that consistency and that form that will take you into the playoffs and then into the final. Now, back in 2007, you were part of the squad, but it was difficult for you to uh, enjoy the celebrations. Tell me what happened. Yeah, obviously, we, we beat Gloucester in, a, in, you know, in a, a good final, and uh, I was only 17 at the time anyway, so I was delighted to even be involved. Anyway, I got on and, and played at the end of the game, sort of going, going mad, and we sort of lifted the cup. Anyway, sort of this champagne bottle ended up in my hand and off I was at the front spraying everyone and uh, this, this lady comes up to me and sort of soon snatched it off me and was like, no, you can't be drinking, you know, you're underage, can't be seen with a bowl. So I sort of ruined, ruined, my, ruined, my, ruined my time, really. <laughs> well, the Land Rover Tour will be visiting all the Guinness Premiership's top clubs as the season reaches its climax. The race to Twickenham is well and truly on.